Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus, and I'm going to show you the latest information. We have some new information that I want to go through you with what's going on in the tropics. Now, we do have multiple waves, <laughs> three or four waves still moving through, but we're going through a unique pattern change in what's upcoming. Now, what we have is we're going to have this trough come through. Now, this is going to suppress any tropical waves that come in this region right over here by the Bay of Campeche to Western Caribbean. It's going to stay that way for a little bit but then it's going to change and go on a high ridge and this will allow everything to start pushing to the east and north it's all going to be about timing on whether this next tropical wave becomes a lot of heavy precipitation bringing some flooding much needed rainfall to a lot of people as well or is it actually going to turn into something tropical so i'm going to show you the latest information so you know exactly what you can expect and so everybody knows exactly what's going on. So you stay up to date. So if you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. Make sure you click the bell. That way you get all the updates. Also, thank you for everyone that did share the video and hit the like button yesterday. I do appreciate it. It did go out. People did notify. People starting to wake up that we're going into our hurricane season. So thank you so much. Now let's get into the video. Remember, timestamps are in the description. And this is all pulling because of the pattern that we're going into. So when you look at your latest PNA, Pacific North American pattern, you see we're going from a positive phase straight to a negative phase and all this is happening right around the time that we're getting this wave pushing through and you can see that here so here you are in a positive pacific north american pattern you got that big high ridge on the west coast you got all that heat building you got that trough coming in towards the southeast this is a positive pna this is where everything's gonna start battling up right here by central america by yucatan and nothing can push north just yet but then it's going to transition from that pattern to a big ridge coming in and it will allow things to move but at the same time we're going to get a high pressure expanding out so it won't be everywhere but there is a slither where it could still come in and give a potential issue at the same time you're going to get that trough of cooler air on the west coast this will make your heat start to go away a little bit and you can see right here on your AO your arctic oscillation that we do have that cold pocket of air that below average temperatures you're still going to be getting I've been talking about it for a long time you got nice temperatures you got nice weather coming through then afterwards we'll get another cold pocket of air that's going to be coming when we change our pattern it's coming towards the west coast but you can also see it's not as deep as before so it won't go all the way towards southern california per se but you will feel it washington oregon maybe a little bit of northern california now just to show you everything gfs does not see that second trough of cold air coming in like the euro is showing it's not trending so maybe around the middle of june over 10 days away so please this will be updated anything over 48 hours I like to call as inaccurate until we get updated, but you follow the trends. And you can see with the euro showing that below average temperatures will start kicking in for that pattern change. At the same time, you can see here with the GFS, that's why GFS is still showing a big hurricane forming. That as we go into that pattern, you can see that trough coming through right here. This is your trough coming in. This is your tropical wave trying to push through. Then you're gonna have this high ridge that's building right here. Now remember, this is gonna change and you can see this right here as that changes and starts getting this high pressure forming started getting this high pressure forming up over here over over mexico over the south central unfortunately you got no precipitation coming to mexico while you're still getting all this heat you're going to start getting this ridge start building but at the same time it allows this tropical wave to push to the north so that's why you keep seeing the gfs showing this big monster of a hurricane pushing through because it's going through this pattern change. So you can see why you see right here with the GFS. You got that trough coming in, suppressing everything down. But then we go into that pattern change where it starts going into the high ridge and it lets the low pressure form up still. This is your zero Z. This is your balloon data. It's been showing ever since yesterday something strong. Unfortunately, it's been showing the worst case scenario where I showed yesterday if it comes later and later, it's going to push further and further north into the Gulf of Mexico. And you can see this here with the GFS, still showing it's gonna bottle up and be something strong in the Gulf of Mexico. And then maybe something building up even later, maybe a one, two punch. The next run, the 6Z, right here for this morning, you can see it all bottles up by the Yucatan West Caribbean, by the Bay of Campeche. And as you go by the 13th and 14th, 
starts going on that high ridge and it pulls us to the north. So as of right now, for the next seven days, National Hurricane Center still don't show anything forming within the next seven days. I'm surprised they still don't have an outlook right here for at least some, some bad flooding, some potential mudslides that could happen, because that is a possibility for them in the Caribbean. But you can see the latest update on Global Tropics. It is updated now. It's on Wednesdays instead of Thursdays. As you go from the 12th through the 18th, that you see how it's going to be a chance for a tropical formation somewhere in this red and white striped line and above average rainfall coming towards southern Florida, the Bahamas, towards Cuba. And it's going to stay that way as you go from the 19th through the 25th, because we're going to be in this pattern. You can see it still stays there. Potential tropical cyclone formation moves a little further to the north and still bring a lot of heavier rainfall towards Cuba. We're going to be in this pattern for most of June. And then our hurricane season is going to mile down some so far all the way until July. So now the latest information when we look with the Canadian to try and see what's trending. You can see that it's starting to show that low pressure form up over here by the Bay of Campeche. But it shows that trough moves away. And then it weakens down and just a lot of heavy rainfall is going to be coming out of that. Euro shows it will expand to the low pressure, still bring a lot of good rainfall, but shows maybe you'll get something going right up the coast. Showing something weak, but when you go by the ensemble control member, it's showing the same thing as the latest run with the Euro, but it shows it starts to build up towards a stronger storm system towards the northeast as all that energy revolves around. So you can see this when you look at the euro, you can see that trough comes on down. Here's that trough coming down. Here's your precipitation going over Florida and not bottling up to anything special. Then you may be a storm system in the northeast. And that just bottles up on the Western Caribbean in the Bay of Campeche, continuously bringing a lot of rainfall towards Florida. I know y'all will need this. I know y'all short on your precipitation. But look, that's all it shows so far with the euro. That's the latest update just bottles up and maybe pushes off into the pacific later on gfs shows the same thing except it shows that trough comes a little bit later and it's a little bit weaker look how it's not all the way down giving this a chance to push to the north and it shows it gets a chance to form up gathers all that precipitation and you still have something tropical in the gulf of mexico and once again this is all about timing because with this trough coming down we're getting a lot of shear and we have a very small area of favorable environment but you do see the precipitation has increased with the euro you got all this heavy rainfall potentially coming across florida from tampa over and this talking about a lot of rain over eight inches this will update and you can see with the gfs still taking something Forming. GFS has continually been showing in the Gulf. And I think eventually we're going to see it continuously bottled up over here by the Bay of Campeche, maybe the Western Gulf, which isn't good because if something slips out and spins up real quick, it will be either in the Gulf or hurry up and go across Florida into the East Coast. You can also see the latest update on a chance for a tropical depression. As we go seven days, it starts bottling up, pushing into the Eastern Pacific. And then once you see that chance from the eight to nine days, we lose that chance for this to come around that high pressure and potentially form up. This is according to the Euro, showing it will stay bottled up around Western Caribbean and Central America. Maybe get something weak forming off the East Coast as you're going towards the 14th and 15th. And that is it, just staying bottled up. So far showing around seven days or eight days away that some low pressure could be forming up in the Gulf and staying something weak until we get possibly way down the road. It's always been showing 10 days or more. Something's going to form up and push western into the Gulf of Mexico because that's where everything will be headed. Maybe something slipping through the east, but it's been favoring western gulf of mexico now keep in mind every time this keeps showing 10 days 10 days in my opinion if it keeps showing 10 days 10 days that means it's not going to happen it keeps pushing it back matter of fact the latest on tropical storm probabilities tropical cyclone strike probabilities all the way to the 17th showing that it will bottle up by western caribbean potentially growing into the eastern pacific and maybe get that front induced low again and once again that is not tropical that is front induced and then after that after you go to the 24th later in june maybe it will push a little bit further to the north and then start growing a little bit more as you go towards the end of june and the beginning of july
You can also see with the latest potential velocity anomaly with the short range. We'll look at both of them. You can see with the euro, this is pushing further to the west. See how it's further to the west? Here's Central America. So this is going further into the west, maybe by the Bay of Campeche, maybe into the Eastern Pacific, hinting that this will be further to the west of any kind of formation. Showing so far in the short range that we could get some kind of favorable environment, something growing up in the northeast. Also, it could potentially go into the Eastern Pacific, maybe be a storm for Mexico. Now, here's the latest information according to the GFS. Same time span, the short range, but you can see the bowing out that's coming out in this favorable environment, pushing it a little further to the west of any kind of formation. It's pretty obvious that if you have any kind of formation coming according to the GFS, it will be in the beginning. After that, it will not have any chance of formation. It will be further to the west. You can see this when you look at your average week by week. So when you go all the way from the 5th through the 10th, your favorable environment is the Eastern Pacific in the Caribbean over here, right above Puerto Rico also. But when you go a little bit further and you go from the 10th through the 15th, you see how it loses a lot of its favorable environment and it could form potentially still like we've been seeing for a long time from CFS right here east of Florida, right by the Bahamas and pushing away. That's a possibility. So if it's later, it'll be a smaller chance of forming. So when you look at the long range of the URL and see the update, you can see that bowing out in the favorable environment showing it's going to get pushed further towards the west. But you also can see when you look for our area, this is the Western Caribbean. This is going towards the Bay of Campeche. So in this whole region right here, so far, we don't have anything much going on. We got a couple of East Pacifics, but so far we don't have anything going to the middle of July. Now this will update. I know it will, it always does. But sooner or later we will see favorable environments start growing in this region. It's just, I'm not showing it yet. I know we're going to hyperactive season, but I'm showing we're going off to a slow start. Other than this coming by, it's going to be a slow start. Matter of fact, latest, update with the ghost satellite you can see this as it starts getting that trough coming through in that trough coming in this is bringing a lot of shear with it our shear is not going down yet even though we're expected low shear that's going to be towards our peak of our hurricane season but you can see as this tropical moisture builds up it all it all builds up towards the yucatan over here going into the bay of campeche and goes further and further to the west multiple low pressures try and form up and keep getting pushed to the western Gulf of Mexico. That's not a good thing neither. But that right there could easily spin around and get right into our jet stream and bring us a strong storm. So let's go through the latest updates with the ensemble. So you can see the latest with the GEFS as you go on from the 10th and on. Showing favorable environment. Able to form up something in the western Caribbean. Still showing it will get pushed into the east northeast of the Gulf of Mexico and keep forming up potentially in the Gulf after that, all the way to the 15th, and then finally getting pushed to the west and maybe trying again after that. But when you take a look at your anomalies of your wind shear, you can see that you're unfavorable. All this red, this is bad for tropical storms. This will cause a lot of shear and it won't form. It won't be vertically stacked. You have your favorable environment moving to the Western Caribbean into the Southern half of the Bay of Campeche. Tries to, to go out, but it can't. That trough is bringing a lot of shear on it and the favorable environment stays there. So I don't know how the model data can show that it could go to the Northeast of the Gulf of Mexico. When it's showing that trough is going to continuously stay there with the shear and the favorable environment is over here on the southern half and it won't ever go north. So let's compare this to the EPS, the Ensemble Prediction System of the Long Range of the Ural. Showing it will bottle up to the Western Caribbean still and still stay there as you go through the teens and then start moving further north into the Gulf of Mexico. Maybe something weak then forming up potentially favoring the Eastern Pacific after that.
showing the same thing. All that favorable environment will be bottled up over here in that blue. That's less wind shear. And then you'll have all this above average wind shear moving through with the trough, showing there's no way that could head to the north. And you can see this here on your wind shear. So it's above average. You get all this strong wind shear moving through. But then you got the Central American gyre. It's just a big low pressure system building area and it just has less wind shear in that so it's able to form up here all the above average wind shear will be right here as you get that trough not allowing anything to push to the north so i waited for the update and the update shows even worse it shows a lot of these ensembles that something could grow up right in the western caribbean going towards the gulf as you go towards the 13th and 14th this being your control member also agreeing that this could form up a little further to the west still being something weak but it could do something into the gulf as that goes by and you still see what all these others still showing a lot of chances for formation so it's not like it's one or two ensembles it's more like a few of them is showing there's a lot of early development and there's a few of them showing it could be some later development we do need to watch this tropical wave i know a lot of people don't have a lot of faith in gfs i follow the trends and when this shows this I always go to the control member and if the control member shows anything i keep my eye on it because usually that control member is right on maybe something weak so here's a close-up so you can see a little bit better of what's going on with these ensembles as we go towards the 14th you see how multiple shows something could form up in the gulf remember the more likely outcome right here in the corner as you go towards 10 days. This is 10 days away. That's why I'm saying I'm going to keep you updated. This is not law. Euro is not law. All you can do is follow the trends and see what the updates are because this is getting a little concerning. This is the latest run showing it's about not a 50 50 I would say a 40 percent chance of forming a 60 percent chance of not. Still very concerning. We do need to still watch this as this transition comes through. However, showing the more likely trough that we get that comes deep as possible will suppress this tropical wave. And if it keeps going that way, it will stay somewhere around in Yucatan, the Bay of Campeche, maybe forming a storm system down there, bringing a lot of heavier rainfall to a lot of people as well. But once we get this next pattern, where we go into that negative PNA. This is going to open up our field a little bit. Are we going to get a high pressure expanding out all in this region? And it's going to open up our field a little bit for something to slip through. After that, I firmly believe we're going to be somewhat of a little break at the beginning of our hurricane season. Thank you so much for your time, everybody. I hope this has been a good update for you. you kind of understand what's going on. We are in a very narrow pattern where something could form up. The odds are starting to look like it will not form up we'll keep you updated it's still days and days away anything can still change but i think it will become more clear in the coming days psalm 107 28 through 31 then they cry unto the lord in their trouble and he bringeth them out of their distresses he maketh the storm a calm so that the waves thereof are still then are they glad because they be quiet so he bringeth them unto their desired haven. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Amen. Have a great day, everybody. Remember, the cool temperatures are going to be here for a while. The warm temperatures are still going to be here for a while. But remember, it's going to be nicer weather, just like I've been telling you for a while. Severe weather is going to start milding down for at least a week, maybe longer. I will keep you updated on everything. Hope you have a very blessed day today. And remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe every single day of your life and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great day, everybody.